Emily again. So we said we were going to talk about number sense and how we can develop number sense in children. One of the first things that probably all of you are already doing is practicing counting. So in kindergarten, entering kindergartners should be able to count about 12 objects or items with one-to-one -one correspondence. One-to-one -one correspondence means they're not just counting out loud and saying it um, in a vacuum. It means that they understand that every number that they say goes with an object that they say. So their finger or their foot or whatever is touching or pointing to each object one by one. Lots of kids will skip over things, they'll count fast. That's not really understanding that concept of one-to-one -one correspondence. So a way to develop that concept is to use the noun of the objects you're counting after the number. So when your child counts, for example, these three crayons, you would say one crayon, two crayon, three crayons. So use the word to identify the object as you're counting. Another tip is when they're done counting, one crayon, two crayons, three crayons, ask them how many? And when you ask them how many, the answer they should give you is three. And you'd be surprised, especially when children are counting longer um, or more objects, a lot of children get confused. They might count, count them out up to nine and then we say how many and they give you a random number, which means they really haven't internalized the number sense yet. So how can you help them internalize number sense? <sighs> children are very concrete. In addition to using the nouns, do things in concrete ways. So that means do it with their body. When you go up and downstairs, if you count them every time, and as you put your foot on, you're kind of forced to go one to one. One step, two step, three step, four step. Even when you go to public places, that's a good way to practice. Um, another thing you can do is practice with uh, concrete actions. So bouncing a basketball, uh, jump rope skips, um, Simon says, Simon says clap four times. See if they can get that. So keep it very concrete. Practice in your day-to-day -day life at the grocery store. Take a bag and say, let's get six oranges and your child can help you put them in and count them out with actions. Um, another way that you can tell if children have number sense is to count backwards. So, Blast off countdowns are fun for kids, you know, like a rocket ship. Before you go out the door, you can say, we're getting in the car. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jump in the car seat. Um, just giving them some practice with that skill. That's hard for kids. Paper chains are awesome. They're great for developing number sense and number concepts and counting. You can make these at home. Your child can help you make them. Take some construction paper or any paper will do. You make the dark line because it's easier for children to cut in the line and your child can use their kid scissors to practice their visual motor skills to cut the chains. Then what you're going to do is just loop them around, glue them, tape them, or staple them and you have a paper chain. Paper chains help children understand uh, time concepts as well. So they're good to use if your child is looking forward to something, their birthday, Cedar Point, Grandma coming over, maybe someone's on a business trip and they're waiting for them to come back. It's a very concrete way to help them understand. Uh, we count the end of the day. You take one off and you say, this day is done. We're going to take this one off. So we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more days until Grandma comes over. We took one off, today was 11 days, we took it off, now it's 10. So that's a way to practice subtraction. Those are all great ways, grown-ups, to help your children see relationships between numbers and their concepts and to understand counting and number sets.